A lot of my dad's relationships with a lot of famous people was fake. A lot of them. Even the ones you think might be the closest. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Yeah. Out of everybody, I've heard you talk about Snoop. I've heard you talk about all these different people, man. Out of all of these different people from, I see everybody, they, they really riding the coattail of your father's name. Like, uh, when it when it come down to just showing him love from a I love Soldier Slim, uh I was his have anybody ever reach out to you that you, that sticks out to you like this dude really a genuine dude that really loved my dad and he willing to, he rock with me like he do you feel that from any one of these people? Like found famous people? Any one of these famous people. The ones who keep getting on the damn documentaries, the ones who keep uh, every time you look around, they saying, yeah, that's that. Yeah, he was this, he was that. I done talked to a bunch of niggas that say this, but I'm asking you, have any of these niggas, any of them, you felt that genuineness? Because this is the thing. If I was passed away, I would want somebody to look out, A, for my kids, or reach out to my wife, or somebody to say, if these supposed to be my homeboys, or they really rock with me, and you see them on videos with me. A lot of my dad's relationships with a lot of famous people was fake. A lot of them. Even the ones you think might be the closest. Was fake. After he died, a lot of them niggas did fake shit. Bitch ass shit. Wow. So even if, if it was any genuineness to it, they had done did some, some fake shit. So you know how you know I be. So it just, and that's the part, man. It's, it's hard. It, it's like, People say it, you see it, you kind of get numb to it because you know it, you have to start ignoring it because it really ain't it has no essence. You know what I mean? I'm just telling you from being a person who just start really looking into this whole situation, and I only been on the scene for a couple of years now. I just come into this, but I come from a different mentality. I got a partner. My best friend died. I done been to a lot of funerals. You know what I'm saying? I found my uncle dead, my daddy dead, my mama dead. Everybody gone, my nigga. So. Where is this genuineness at when it come down to really we rock together? My mama fed you, nigga. We were eating at the same table, at the same bowl. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You know, when you're younger, you'll hear stuff, but it, you'll never analyze it till years later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it is for me. In life, not like a lot of stuff that I, sh a lot of people I should have been closer to who told me a lot of real stuff. They did little phony stuff that, that made me venture off from them, but I think back on stuff that they told me, like like a while, like probably like 2016. Okay. Me and Wacko was in Atlanta. He running it to me. Well, he running to me 100, you feel me? But, man, he did something. He was like, I was young, you know what I'm saying? I was young, I was petty. Like, he did something. He was like, come get him. Come get him, he gonna do something for me. He ended up doing what he said he was gonna do. So I stopped going around a lot. I stopped asking the phone for him, but I be thinking back on the conversation that he had, that convo like the conversation that we had in the car when he asked me to do that for him was way more valuable than, valuable than what mm -hmm. he said he was gonna do. You and that ain't nobody's perfect though. You gotta always and, remember. Yeah, and so, people are busy for sure. Yeah. So people not always going you know, do everything they say they're supposed to do. You can't always. I was kind of dependent on them. Oh, you okay. know how it is when you're dependent on somebody. Yeah. They psych you up. You know what I'm saying? Every, a lot of people speak with excitement, man. But when it comes down, and I'm not, just, I'm not speaking on wacko, but I'm just saying, in general, a lot of people speak with passion. But when it comes down to making these moves and doing what you say you're going to do, that is not as easy as saying what you're going to do. Most definitely. I think a lot of people be just talking. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm not talking about him. And, and it was petty. It wasn't like he told me, you know what I'm saying, he was going to pay my rent. Uh, nah, nah. It, was, it was petty, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, uh, I'm not depending on you, you feel me? So yeah. I ain't, I ain't even tell him. I just ain't out of the front for him no more. You just start moving different. Yeah. You, 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 like I said, you had to have this certain chip on your shoulder, so to speak, because of the way that you see people, what is their motive behind them even dealing with you? Right? So... so so that's what that's what this conversation yeah. was based off. His conversation was really telling me like, I be saying you be woody woody wild, but you 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 be acting like this with them. You supposed to be acting like that with me. You know what I'm saying? He like, but we give him what he giving me is real. He like, a lot of people that look out for you might show you love. They really doing it out of guilt. 
Mm. Wow. Yeah, like he running it. And it, it hit me like years later, like, man. That he gave you some real jewels. It hit me once I start dipping and dabbing into my estate papers mm -hmm. and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure it out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.